Hi guys, my name is Jen. I'm really excited to show you this. It only took a couple of minutes and a couple of dollars, and I personalized some Easter baskets for my daughters. I know this isn't your traditional Easter basket, but I absolutely love these. I picked them up from the dollar store, and I personalized them with my daughter's names on it, and I individually put things inside of these that I know that they would like. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to create these. They are so much fun and so easy to create, so let's get started. All right, so starting in design space, all I wanna do is make some text here. So I'm gonna to go to the text button on the left here, and I'm just gonna write some of my daughter's names on here. And I just wanna go in and change the size, change the font, and change the color. And then the fun part begins when we put this onto the eggs. So I put the first name here, and I wanna change the font so all i did was click on the name and then go up to the font box up here and then for this one i'm going to look for a name uh, of a font so i'm going to do double whipped so we're going to put that in so here it is here so i'm going to click on this one this is the one that i want to use for it so here it is here and one thing with this is if i stretch it out i can show you guys so if I leave it the way it is, it's um, Cricut is going to cut this out. So right where these lines are, Cricut's going to actually cut those out. So the first thing you want to do with this is go to combine here and unite them. So you will see that these lines will go away there. So no longer have those lines there. So if you have any kind of font like this, you always have to make sure that you're not going to see those lines because those will be cut out and you do not want that. So I'm going to put this one aside and I'm going to grab the next one, which is going to be Lily. I have four daughters, but I'm not going to necessarily show you each one of these. You just kind of get the point. So here's Lily and I'm going to make this a little bit larger and same thing with hers. So if I use this font, which I'm going to not, but if I use this font, I'm going to go to combine and then unite and then that will get rid of those lines there as well. Um, but once you unite it, there's really nothing else you can do with this. I can't go back and change the font on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this back button. <clears throat> and I'm gonna find a different font for this one. So for hers, I liked this one called FBC Merry Holiday. So I'm gonna go ahead and type this one in here. And you might have ones that you have in mind that you wanna use or you wanna just scroll through here. You can find all of these that you want. The ones with the A's here, I am um, subscribed to Design Space yearly, so I get all of these ones for free. Some of them you'll see where you have to pay extra. I'm trying to find it up right here. So if I wanted to use this one, I'd have to pay the $4.99 and download it, which I'm okay without doing. Um, and the ones that are here like this without the A, those come with um, just design space alone. So if you don't have the A here, they're probably going to make you pay for those. So that's why you see the A's there. So I'm going to go up here and just type in what I wanted to use. I like this font, uh, BFC Mary. Whoops. And I'm going to pick it here. So here it is here. I just thought that was a really cute one. Um, so same thing with this. Uh, the only thing I want to do is just resize this. So I'm going to quickly add the two other names that I have. I actually have four daughters. And so I'm going to add those other two. And then I'm going to show you really quick what I do with the other one. So I'm going to fast forward this part so you don't have to watch it. All right, so these are the ones that I'm going to be using. This one is called DJ Flirt. This one is DC Honey Syrup. This one is the BFC Merry Holiday, and then Katie's, um, let's see, I wrote it down, is the Double Whipped one. Um, so just in case you're interested in any of these, like I said, you can go to use whatever you want, but these ones I just thought were really cute. So the only other thing I want to do is just change the color on these. So I have Emma selected here, and the Emma one I want to have pink. So I'm going to go up to the color box, and I'm just going to grab a pink color. And it doesn't have to be this exact color that I'm going to be using, just something similar that when I go to make it, it's going to put it on a different mat. So for Lily's, I wanted hers to be blue, so I'm going to do the same thing. Just go up here and pick any color blue. It doesn't matter. And then Alyssa's, I was going to create a green one. So I'm going to go up to the color box and just grab green. <clears throat> and then for Katie's, uh, she likes purple, so I'm going to grab purple for her. Let's just find some sort of purple here. 
there we go. And then the only other thing that I have to do is change the size. So I bought those uh, plastic eggs from the dollar store, actually dollar twenty five store. I have a blue, a green, a purple, and a pink. So I'm gonna just coordinate these colors that I have here with those egg colors. So with mine, I figured the perfect size for my eggs that I want is going to be um, a three by seven. So the only th other thing I have to do is just change the size. I'm gonna go up to the unlock box and I'm gonna change this to be a seven by three. So I want each one of these to be that exact same size. So I'm gonna go up to the unlock box and then change these to be seven by three. So each of them are the same exact size. Even though their names are a little bit shorter than each other, they're still gonna be the same size when they cut out. So again, unlock and then just change it. And yours doesn't have to be the same size as mine. Obviously, you can do different sizes, different colors, different, you know, whatever you want, different fonts. But these are the ones that I picked out for my girls. I actually have triplets. Um, yes, triplets. So I, Alyssa, Katie, and Emma are my triplets. They are going to be 16 this year. And my other daughter, Lily, is 18. So we were blessed with them. So I have four beautiful girls. I'm going to go to make it here and I'm just going to cut this out. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the side and then um, kind of talk about the vinyl that I use. So here they are on the side here. You can see them. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why, but it's been lately it's been going to the 12 by 24, but you can leave it that way or you can just change it to the 12 by 12. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm just going to be using the 12 by 12 mat. So here it is here. It's just Emma, Alyssa, and Katie, and they all um, come on separate mats because they are separate colors. So the only other thing I want to do is go to continue, and I'm just going to show you which setting I use to cut these out. I'm just using regular vinyl, um, like uh, Oracle 651 vinyl. I'm actually, my two favorites that I found is Tech Wrap vinyl and then the HTV Ront vinyl. I absolutely love those two. Here we go, it says base or set to base material. These are the ones that are just my ones that I bookmarked myself that I use all the time. So I'm using this premium vinyl. I'm using the Tech Wrap and then also the HTV Ront ones. I love these. You can use whatever kind of vinyl you want, but you just want to make sure it's the 650 one that it's going to stick on there permanently and not come off. So I'm going to click this and then I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. I have four different ones. So the, the green, purple, pink, and blue. Um, and I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to weed it out. And then I'm going to show you the next step. This is really easy how to do this. And then you can fill these up with whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and then I'll get my camera set up and show you what the next step looks like. All right, so I have my files done. I chose these colors. This is the tech wrap. Really beautiful colors, how this turned out. And this is like a holographic one. So I have all of these um, cut out and weeded out. And then these are the eggs that I'm going to be using. I just bought these from the dollar store. So it was $1.25 for one. But like I said, I got four of them, the blue, green, pink, and the purple. So the next thing you wanna do is um, clean the top really well. Anytime you're putting on any kind of vinyl or anything, you always wanna make sure you have a nice clean surface. So I just have some alcohol here and I'm just going to clean the surface of each one of these really quick and then let it sit and dry. But that is very, very important. So you wanna make sure you clean this really, really well. Get any finger marks or anything else off of here that is going to be on it. So just like this, and you can tell there's a lot of stuff that comes off. So I'm just gonna let that air dry for a minute and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the next ones. Um, I'm gonna fast forward this part. You don't have to watch me cleaning each one of these, but um, I just love how these come. And you can reuse them every year. Um, my girls are teenagers, so they really don't need much from me. But I thought this would be a cute project to show you guys how to do um, for just a couple of dollars. So I'm going to finish this up really quick, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so now that they are dry, I actually did two of them really quick to see how it would look. So this is how they turn out. Really, really awesome. Love how these look on here. I love the size of it. I love the color of it. So those are two that are finished. And then I'm just going to take the next two really quick and put these on here. So all you got to do is cut and weed your image here and then take a piece of transfer tape. I'm using the Tech Wrap transfer tape. I love this because it's easy to get off of your paper. And it's also easy to uh, peel off of here after you're done. So once you have your image all done and ready, and I love the lines on it too. So I'm just going to take it and line up the letters on here, carefully slide my finger through, 
And then I'm gonna take my squeegee here and then just kind of varnish this like this to get all the bubbles and everything out in here. And then what I like to do is just flip it upside down and work backwards. But I love this transfer tape, really awesome to do that. Then all you wanna do is take your egg top and depending on which side you wanna put it on, um, you just start in the middle. So I'm just uh, guesstimating where it goes here and then I'll lay it down and then I'll just take my finger pretty much and varnish this in. So I just wanna go through each letter individually and then go from there. So I'm just gonna take it, I'm not putting the whole transfer tape down, I'm just going from where the letter is. That way it's not gonna have any bubbles or anything, I'm not worried about um, the actual transfer tape, I'm just doing each letter individually, if that makes sense. So I'm just working each letter in. So this Y looks like it's going to give me problems, so just take your time with it. And like I said, let the transfer tape do your work for you. So there, much better. Okay, and then you want to just carefully peel this off. And if you have it come up like this, you just want to push it on a little bit more and make it stick. So just like that. I absolutely love this transfer tape. And this color is absolutely beautiful. It's like a greenish blue color. So just like that. That one says Lily. So just like that. Very simple to do. Cost a couple of dollars to make a whole basket. Um, like I said, I finished the other ones. I just have one more to go here. I'm going to finish this up really quick. I'm going to use the same transfer tape that I just used, and I'm going to finish this up, and then I'm going to show you what they look like when I have them all stuffed and ready to go. But this was a really cheap and inexpensive, a fun way to create something for your kids. So stay tuned to see what it's all finished, what it looks like when it's all finished. These were so much fun to create. I hope you guys like this tutorial. You can use these uh, over and over and over. I really love them, and my girls are all teenagers, so I think they're really going to like these. They are individual things inside of them not just candy it's other things that can they can use on a day day-to-day basis so I hope you like this video tutorial please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already as I have more crafting videos you're not going to want to miss this video that I have next so don't miss out happy crafting everyone